guys, that monkey and we're back here for another video. Guys, in this video, I will be doing a card review of all four of the new Pro Bowl legends. So we do have Adrian Peterson, they are Derek Johnson, Brandon Marshall, and finally JJ Swizzlewatt. So guys, as you can see on the left hand side of your screen, you will see uh, constantly a refresh of all the cards and the card stats. So I decided to do it this way because I wanted to show off each single card throughout the video so you guys knew how good the card was, what the stats was, and these all fully boosted, or sorry, fully, fully chem boosted stats. So that means both of the chems are fully up to the max level. So that means other than, you know, with motivators and, um, you know, actually just motivators, uh, you can boost them off even more, but, you know. With Oliver Vernon, you could get JJ Watt to a 99 block shed, but does it really matter at the end of the day? I don't really think so. But this is 399s and a 97. Of course, with awareness from Michael Burton, you could make Adrian Peterson a 98. And I believe you could make him 99 with Emmanuel Sanders. So you could technically boost him up a little bit more, but. Again, I don't really, in my opinion, think it's worth it to boost these players up even more. So the first gameplay you're going to see is a whole entire gameplay. The second and the third, um, as you know, wait, the second, oh, sorry, the end of this game, I'll go back throughout the game and I'll look at some highlights of how the players did because obviously we can't really look or we're not getting a good idea of what J.J. Watt is doing. Now, we can see what uh, Derek Johnson is doing. If you guys want to know what he is, um, he is the guy I'm not using. <laughs> so, I told you guys I'm not going to use her. Um, you know, when I do a call review, <clears throat> I'm not going to do a uh, user when I do a call review because I don't want to impact how he does. Because obviously, I can do really good usering, and I don't want you know to, that to be in taking consideration to see how good the player is. If you guys want to see how good Derek Johnson is, me usering him, go check out my video um, yesterday. Where I, did, I got four interceptions with him. He had a crazy, crazy game, and that's how good he is user when you user him. Again, my opinion, best linebacker ever to be usered. So. After playing, I played three games with this team and uh, with these four players. And of course, that Aaron Rodgers is the team of the year, Aaron Rodgers. This was my um, last gameplay with him. But yeah, so after doing all this research on how good these cards are, my final reviews are, let's start off with Adrian Peterson. AP, unlike most AP cards, every AP card I've ever had in my has fumbled it many times. And even in Madden in general, AP fumbles the ball a lot. He did not fumble it once in, in these three gameplays. And he got hit pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. He took a lot of you know different shots, and he was slammed most of the games. And he didn't fumble the ball one time. So I got to give him props. No fumbling for him. Um, Running-wise, he's not the fastest. Um... Obviously, he has 93 speed, which is one of the fastest halfbacks in this game. It's kind of sad, but David Johnson, the team of the year I played with, he fell a lot faster than AP. I don't know if it's acceleration that's not letting AP get there or, you know, some other stat that we're just not looking at, but AP does not feel fast at all. He does not feel like he can outrun everyone on defense the same that, you know, um, David Johnson felt like, and, eh. I gotta say, if I had to list running backs, I'd put AP above Ezekiel Elliott for the um, team of the year, Zeke Elliott. Again, playing with him, I felt like he just wasn't that great. And to be honest, like this is my list. Probably the best running back in this game would be Ricky Williams. Number two is going to be um, number two, David Johnson. And then number three, I gotta say, I'll, I'll give it to Adrian Peterson. He's a pretty good card. But it's just that he just doesn't feel like he's, you know, the fastest player in the history of this game right now. And obviously, he's not kind of supposed to, you know, feel that fast. He was only 93 speed, but I can't give him, you know, too much props on that. Running back-wise, as a whole, I am going to go through all the game, all the highlights of both games. So you won't see the second game, but you're going to see the highlights of the second game. Um, through, you know, this type of stuff. But yeah, so Adrian Peterson, as a running back as a whole... um. Again, he didn't fumble for me, but I, I know, I know 
how AP plays in this game. Whatever that you get an AP card, they fumbled eventually. So, and fumbles all random this year. So, I gotta give it AP. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him B plus because he's a great card. He's he caught pretty much every pass I threw to him. He played very nice, but you know, obviously there it, there are some issues with him when it comes to um, he could always fumble with the ball again. He didn't fumble for me, but that doesn't mean anything right here. As you can see, he takes a hit, did not fumble the ball. I'm actually was kind of surprised. I did not want him to take a hit like that, but yeah. So Adrian Peterson B plus, Derek uh, Johnson. Now I did say he's the best user linebacker I've ever had. Um, he plays amazing. I played with Ryan Chazier, 94 overall, and. Uh, CJ Mosley and a lot of other guys obviously this year as you guys have saw but I gotta say Ryan uh, Derek Johnson one of the best user linebackers I've ever used I've used Rob Gronkowski too I got a comment about that I still have a gameplay of me using Rob Gronkowski I believe I got two interceptions with him so and I got a pick six so use a pick six and uh, another interception not that bad of a card but definitely not as good as this Derek Johnson at you doing now, when it comes down to by himself, and that's the issue with, you know, this Derek Johnson, in my opinion, is by himself, he's nothing special. I did not see one time did he make a play. Uh, you guys can watch back the highlights and the footage and everything like that. That's why this is here for you, the footage and the highlights. But I have not seen him make a play one time in, in these three games. Um, four games, actually, because I played him four even though I did use him in the first game, so technically that doesn't count. But he did not make too much of a play in these four games. So, Derek Johnson, I'm going to give him a B-. minus Because by himself, he's not that great. But w when you're using him, it's night-night. Alright, next guy we have here is going to be J.J. Squizzle Watt. How good is J.J. Watt? Well, J.J. Watt, I did not actually use or control him. As I told you guys before, I don't usually control my players whenever I try to, um, you know, do highlights with them because I want to show how good they are. The only time I use them is like Javion Clowney because he had the uh, stat, he had the um, chem, not the chem, the, the uh, yeah, it's the chemistry that uh, jumped the snap. So I wanted to see how good that was. Right here we get a pick six. We had a lot of pick six in this game, just saying guys. But anyway, so yeah, that's the only time I used my player was that game. I usually like to never use my player when it comes down to actually, um, when it comes down to actually uh, doing card review because I feel like that's kind of a biased opinion if I'm using him because you're not seeing how he plays by himself, and that's the point of these card reviews. You know, I don't, I want to show someone who has, you know, can't use it at all how good the player is based on, you know, just them playing by themselves. Because, you know, you're going to spend a lot of coins on these cards, and if you're using them, you can most likely get someone for better speed and better acceleration and better other stats for a lot cheaper. So there's no point. I mean, if you're going to use her, don't get, what's his name? Um, don't pay like 500k to get Derek Johnson if you're going to use her or him. Um, I would say get Deion Buchanan because Deion Buchanan's a lot, you know, he, he's not a lot better, but he's... You know, stat-wise, he has the same speed and he's pretty much the same card except if you're going to use him. But by himself, obviously, I think what's-his-name is better than Deion Buchanan. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But, okay, so finally, um, JJ Swizzle, he gets some block sheds. He didn't get too many in this game. In this game right here, he got two sacks, which was actually the first time he actually did anything. Um, and he didn't do, I mean, other than two sacks, he... You know, he shut down the running back. He's very good against the run. That's one thing I got to give him is he's a very good run stopper. And that's something that many, you know, left and right ends, they, some of them just can't do. They just can't uh, stop the run. A lot of them are good for pass rushing. And that's pretty much it. So pretty much if you're in the pocket like this, he's going to, you know, be able to get to you. But, um... JJ, just like Clowney, which is kind of surprising, kind of sad at the same time. Both of them with very high block shed, but yet they both are getting, you know, destroyed by a left tackle, a right tackle, wherever they line up. It seems like they just can't get past the guy in front of them. Now, they do sometimes, sometimes they get like random block shed animation. Sometimes they're able to get past the guy, but a lot of times they don't. And it's very, very disappointing 
when they can't get past, you know, a simple guy in front of them, especially when the guy isn't that, you know, you know, like good at blocking. I mean, I believe one of these guys is teams. They had like a 90 overall left tackle. And I'm not saying, you know, overalls, obviously overalls does not matter, guys. I'm 100%. Texas boys, right. Overalls don't matter because they don't, honestly. Like, and this is just an example of why overalls don't matter because Javion Carney against a 90 overall left tackle. J.J. Watt versus a 90 overall left tackle. And both of them, you know, they, they can't get past that left tackle. And... Um, I think Texas boy, I watched one of his streams, and Tyreek Hill, 93 overall, well, 98 overall, technically, Javion Clowney, he boosted Javion Clowney up. He got blocked by Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, I mean, no offense to Hill, he's a great receiver, but you know why he's good for speed? He's not good for strength and blocking ability. Now, if he got picked up by Anquan Bolden, by, you know, Steve, uh, Steve Smith, is, uh, Steve Smith is good, he just, he's a uh, kind of smaller but, like, you know, Anquan, or he got picked up by um, Brandon Marshall or Larry Fitzgerald. I could see, like, okay, okay, Javion Klein. I mean, I don't think he should be, they should be to hold him for too long because we saw what happening in the Patriots Texans game. Javion could not be blocked. And if you can tell me Tyreek Hill can block him, this this game's broken if that's if that's the case. I just see a nice run by Adrian Peterson. All right, so JV, um, not Javion Klein, JJ Swizz a lot. I give him a. I give him a B because again he does he didn't do anything special and right there as you can see against 76 he got two uh, spin block sheds and he didn't really get to the quarterback at all. I mean he got to him he caused I guess you could say he caused the interception. You will see him get a sack on one of these plays. It's right here. This is when he gets a sack. So as you can see sometimes he's gonna get that animation where he gets that spin, but if he doesn't get that spin or he spins and there's another guy in his way. He's easily going to get picked up again. So, I give him a B. I don't think... One thing, first th first of all, all three of these cards are not worth the coins, okay? They both go for 700. All three go for 700k each. Not worth the coins. Finally, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall, I don't know if you guys saw in this game in these game plays, but I, I forfed him the ball. With Adrian Peterson, you know, I gave, I didn't throw to anyone but AP and Brandon Marshall, and I ran AP, of course, too. But I made sure B. Marsh got the ball plenty of times. Catching traffic, I didn't see anything special when it came to catching traffic. Look at this pick six. Crazy pick six right there. Spe catching traffic, nothing special. Um, he's really, He is good at catching the ball, although he does drop it if he gets hit too hard. Um, speed wise, obviously he has 91 speed, so he's going to get open and JJ Watt. No, it's not. That's too my bad. Um, yeah. So obviously Brandon Marshall, a good receiver. He's pretty much identical, uh, twin of Anquan Bolden. It's called, but a little bit better speed. Um, and a little, you know, worse catching traffic, um, and stuff like that. So I give him a B plus. He, he played great. He's not worth 700 K. Definitely not. But Odell Beckham isn't worth it either. If you guys did not see my gameplays, Odell Beckham fumbles the ball more than any receiver I've ever used. The team of the year, Odell Beckham. Uh, JJ Watt just got sacked there, but Odell Beckham team of the year. He gets he fumbles the ball more than any receiver I've ever known. Him and Tim Brown. Tim Brown and Odell Beckham fumble the ball more than anything. So Brandon Marshall, I give him a, a B plus actually. Like no. A minus, A minus, because he he did everything I expected him to do, uh, except for the fact he can't catch it in traffic and stuff like that. But still a very good cause. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.